Hey everybody, it's Syndigrator. Well, after posting that audio demo yesterday, Murray himself from Kiwi Technics uh, sent me a quick little message saying, sounds like your three P's out of tune. <laughs> and that would account for a whole bunch of the beating effects I was hearing when I was playing the demo, and also the fact that that fifth didn't seem to be quite a fifth when I was playing the, uh, the fifth patch. So, looks like we got some tuning to do. So the first thing we need to verify before we do anything um, is that, and remember, this is a, an old school piece of gear, my friends, so is it any wonder that, uh, <laughs> that this is the case? But let's go over here. We've got a tuning knob in the back. Taking great care here not to, not to have too much trouble. Let me, oh, can we get it? Yes, thank you very much. Okay, look at that. Now that tuning knob there, this is your tuning knob, so um, the master tune. And I just want to ensure that it is as straight up as I can make it before I start doing anything else. Okay, so it is. That's the limit of precision back in the early 80s when it came to synthesizer tuning. And then I guess you took a guitar tuner and adjusted it. You didn't have a display or anything fancy like that going on. Alright, so what have I got going on here? I've got headphones plugged in. Um, let me turn that up a bit. Just for references sake. And I took a look at the schematic. And uh, this is the shop manual, the service manual. And as you can see, there's test point seven right by IC1 on the main board, which is called poly out. Let's have a look in here. No hinge on this unit, so you've got to be careful not to short anything out when you're lifting up the bolts and the cover. So this is uh, IC1 over here, and there's test point seven, which is poly out, and that's the ground. So I have my scope running, um, and I also have, uh, in order to do this test, uh, Murray describes this in the Kiwi Technics manual for the 3P upgrade, and really well written manual too, I might add. Um, it explains how to do this with a tuner, and basically you don't need any fancy equipment if you're just using a, a free tuner application. He recommends AppTuner from apptuner.com. So you can you can do this on the cheap. You don't have to have a fancy piece of gear. But because I actually do have the, the scope with the frequency counting, I'm going to use that, which is why I'm tapped into this TP here. You would be plugging into the output and then using app tuner. So, you know, it's uh, six or one half dozen to the other, but uh, these are the tools I have. Um, now, one of the things you're supposed to do is turn off the chorus. You're supposed to dial up one of the unprogrammed patches, the sort of the raw patches he's got in other memory banks, turn off the chorus, and then use a pan control, and he tells you how to do it. It's the mix parameter A10, so you have to go into edit mode A10, and then, then you have the slider. Um, I actually have one of his earlier uh, edition patch editors uh, from Kiwi Technics, so we're going to use this instead. So what we actually have here is a knob that maps to the oscillator mix between the two, and uh, it's important. Let me just put this right in the middle, right in the middle here. This is a really cool piece of gear, by the way. Very, very cool. Okay. So it's right in the middle now, and the chorus is set to off, okay? So, and that's because this is the Kiwi Upgrade patch. This is actually a programmable programmer, if you can believe that. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Um, it's a custom set of synth-style controls, but they uh, you can load templates on board, and when you load the template, it actually edits different things. It's a very compelling and cool piece of gear. And of course, in this mode, it is like a super PG programmer for your 3P, um, your Kiwi 3P. So, together, they're quite the combo. Uh, but enough of the commercial there. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what's going on when we play a note. And I'm going to play A440. Well, I'm going to play an A over here. A. Okay. And as you can see, there's some sort of funny kind of cross fading going on and all that. And that's because, as Murray correctly said, these two oscillators are out of tune with one another. So let's see what happens when I adjust the tuning from 
Oops, sorry, if I adjust the pan. Now I'm only going to listen to oscillator 1. Nice, solid sawtooth. I'm actually going to change the um, time division on the horizontal. Right now it's set to 10. So let's... Twenty. Oh yeah, right. Got my scale wrong here. <laughs> Nanoseconds. That's pretty cool. Hey, that's ten milliseconds right there. Twenty milliseconds too tight. Let's try one millisecond. Okay, that's probably for the best. And as you can see here, yeah, 440 hertz right on the money. So that's in tune. Uh, and let's go adjust this mix again over to the other side. Now it's oscillator 2. And that is 444 hertz. So that's basically our problem right there. Uh, oscillator 2 is out of tune. So we go down in here and we have some tuners. This is for oscillator 1 and this is oscillator 2. And I'm going to just bring oscillator 2 into tune using a screwdriver and some careful calibration. I'll be right back.